Hey, how you doing? Had a chance to go to the uh, infrared video that I took when I took this picture right here, both of them at the same time, of course. The uh, object was moving from the left to the right. I'll show you just a little few seconds of that in a minute. It's from uh, 933, and this object right here to the untrained eye, of course, probably looks like an airplane, but I can assure you that it's not. I don't do hoaxes or shaky toaster videos on this channel for my entertainment or anybody else's. I, I'm not going to waste my time with that kind of crap. This is an object that was uh, photographed while I was taking that infrared video. And it starts right here. And it powers down, powers back on. And you can see it go through a color change here. Now there is a a variance of the paths right here and I believe I might have two objects right here in this uh, particular photograph but I can assure you this is not wingtip to wingtip and not a focus airplane like I said this particular piece of white spaghetti here if you take it and put it on a string you can kind of understand what it is that I'm talking about as it's going through these color changes right here let me show you a little bit better what I'm talking about here. Here's a couple of different objects moving in a couple of different directions. Neither one of those are airplanes. Okay. They just happen to pulse at different times as they're going different directions. Now the thing about it is, this is what they look like in the uh, visual uh, light spectrum here. Okay. And again, like I said, to the untrained eye, somebody might look at this and go, oh, it's green, and that's sort of white, so it's probably an airplane far away, and they move on, get real. This is something else entirely different, like I said, to the untrained eye, because if it was an airplane, there would be a steady green light here, so immediately, anybody that knows anything about flying would be alarmed if the uh, avoidance lights were suddenly gone okay that's not how FAA does things so immediately looking at that you can tell there's you know something else going on besides just an airplane flying along now this is the image that that cropped image came from it's this right here this is the spouting on the building or the gutter on the roof, I should say. And someone in the video pointed out that there was another object that they saw. So I went back and looked at it. Yeah, sure enough, there is. And let me uh, enhance that a little bit here. And notice the one on the bottom, the direction it's moving. And it's the one on the top. Again, it's an entirely different direction of movement the one in the bottom was more horizontal like this this is almost uh you know going into the vertical and it's an object it's opening and closing for the most part and this is in the visual spectrum again like i said these photographs were taken during that infrared video of 933 which this is right here now this is some kind of an uh, an orb Okay, it's not just a light in the sky. This is a mechanical structure. And what I did was cleaned up the uh, background and color enhanced this object that you just saw in that infrared video. And right here, this is either an artifact or a part of this object right here. And you can see it's self-illuminating from the inside here. Now, I wasn't sure if I should wipe off this at the top or not i'll show you why this is from 2021 okay we show you an image from 2017 this is an actual photograph of something that i took uh yeah november 2017 now this is a, a an actual photograph okay 300 millimeters for one and about a quarter seconds okay now you see the spindle on the top of it? This is actually an object. This is not an out of focus anything. This is in focus, whatever it is. 
in the visual light spectrum, but what I did was put it through some filters so it would match these other screen grabs from this uh, infrared video. But this is a real photograph. You can go back in some of my earlier uh, videos and have a look at it in, in the uh, actual color that it was, kind of more of a gold color. But anyway, like I said, this is from almost four years ago. So whether these things are returning or not, I'm not sure. Maybe they never left. Maybe they never left. Anyway, back to the screen grabs. Here in this one here, you can see the object again without the spindle on the top. And this thing is doing exactly what I thought it was doing while I was filming it. It's rotating on a vertical axis. And as it's doing so, it's producing a multitude of colors, apparently from the inside out, right? Uh, again, this is what it looks like in uh, infrared. You can actually see the object. But in the visual uh, light spectrum, you get something entirely different. I mean, you can see it's, you know, it's constructed. It's an actual machine of some kind. And it's rotating, like I said, as it's flying along. And it's clearly not an airplane. I mean, I just I just want people to understand when you're watching stuff on this channel. I've got better things to do than just shake the camera, okay, for some kind of idiotic reason. Uh, just to uh, get somebody to watch a video. There is too much actual, real, out-of-this-world uh, stuff, basically, probably, maybe, going on out here to uh, fake anything. Why waste time doing that? So, like I said, this, this right here, that's not an airplane. That's that machine that I just showed you a bunch of screen grabs of. And this is what it looks like in the visual... Uh, light spectrum. The only thing about it is my camera picked it up, but I couldn't see this thing. When I looked away from the camera, I couldn't see it. So all of this that's going on here, all of these images are in a, uh, um, a spectrum, you know, above or below 400 to 800 nanometers, right? And it's being uh, produced and uh, by a machine that probably looks like this. So anyway, um, Thanks for stopping by to have a look, and I uh, just wanted to make sure, like I said, anytime you watch any videos or see any photographs on this channel here, uh, rest assured they're not hoaxed or CGI or faked or just, you know, phony in any kind of way. This is the real deal. This is real stuff here. I just can't exactly tell you what it is, though, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, thanks again. I hope you like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell there. And uh, take care out there no matter what you're doing. Hopefully we'll get to do this again sometime.